Hello, fans of Jukan. My name is George Katrif. You can call me Jukan as well. I welcome you all to Solve Math. And today is another session of multiplication of two digit numbers by one digit number. Please, if you've not watched our previous edition, I will urge you to visit our various social media platforms. That is SolveMath on Facebook, Joker Educational Channel also on Facebook, Joker Educational Services on Facebook as well, and also on KidZone on Facebook as well. Like, follow our page, and enjoy our videos. You can also reach us on YouTube via Jokan Educational Channel or Jokan TV. Subscribe to our channel and you will enjoy the channel. Yes, let's move on and solve questions relating to two digit numbers and one digit number. Please pay critical attention here. Fantastic. The rule is that you should solve the following, right? And number one, we have 34 times 2, right? Good. You are told to solve that. As I told you, you have to write it in a vertical format. So arrange it vertically, then you can multiply. Yes, in our previous edition. So please pay critical attention here. Now, 34 is the one with more digits. So let it be on top. So 34, your multiplication sign outside, then your 2 should be arranged on your right, so it should be under the first number. Then just move a line. Good. Now, this 2 should multiply this 4. The answer should be written down here. This 2 should multiply the number here, which is 3, and the answer should be written in line with this. Good. So let's tackle it, okay? 2 times 4 will give us what? 2, 4 is 8. 8, right? Good. 2 times 3 is what? 2, 3, 6. Look at where I write my 6. Good. I believe you saw where I wrote my 8. 2, 4, 8 in line with the 4, right? And 2, 3, 6 in line with the 3. Because I'm using the 2 to multiply the what? The 3. Good. You are done. What does this mean? It simply means that 34 times 2 will give us 68. That is the meaning, right? Good. Let's tackle question 2. The same procedure. Let's arrange it vertically, but the ones with more digits should be on top, right? So 23 has two digits. So that will be on top. So 23 times your times outside. Two should be on your right, right? Under the number there. Good. Nicely arranged. This two should multiply this number. The answer should be written here. This same two should multiply this the number here. The answer should be written in line. So let's do that. Two times three will give us six. So it's in line, right? Two times two is four. So four is in line. What does this mean? It means that 23 times 2 should give us what? 46. I believe you got that. Fantastic. It's easy, right? Good. We'll be going on a quick break and we'll return. So please, stay tuned. It's Solve Math, Love Math. 